this is Zombie Warrior 88 once again. Now, as I said earlier this week, I'm going to do a review, a commentary and review rather, on a product that I got from Amazon.com entitled Retrogen. Now, I'm going to read you the description of back if that's okay with you. Whoever said Genesis was outdated, if you have an SNES console or another third-party 16-bit console, you can now relieve your Genesis days with Retro Gen Adapter by Retro Bit. Go on and punch those zombies and altered beasts, slice your enemies in Golden Axe, and zap those fighter planes in Truxton. Just insert the Retro Gen adapter to your 16 bit gaming console along with your Genesis game cartridge and your firstly retro. Hmm. Okay, language. For United States of America. Compatible with most Genesis games and SNES or 16 bit consoles. Includes four region switches for NTSC and PAL Mega Drive and Genesis games. Plug and play, lightweight and travel friendly. Uh, let's see, looks like Germany. Compatible with most Genesis games and SNES game or 16-bit consoles. Includes four region switches for NTSC and PAL Mega Drive and Genesis games. Plug and play, lightweight and travel friendly. Uh, actually, it looks like Russia. Anyways, France. Compatible with most Genesis games and SNES or 16 bit consoles. Includes four region switches for NTSC and PAL Mega Drive and Genesis games. Plug and play, lightweight and travel friendly. Germany. Compatible with most Genesis games and SNES or 16-bit consoles. Includes four region switches for NTSC and PAL Mega Drive and Genesis games. Plug and play, lightweight and child friendly. Uh, I think it looks like Sweden. Compatible with most Genesis games and SNES or 16-bit consoles. Includes four region switches for NTSC and Power Mega Drive and Genesis games. Plug and play, lightweight and travel friendly. Retrogen and the Retrogen logo are registered trademarks of Retrobit. NES and SNES are registered trademarks of Nintendo of America. Incorporated Genesis are trademarks, registered trademark of Sega Corporation. This product is not manufactured, sponsored, endorsed, or produced by Nintendo of America, Incorporated, or Sega Genesis. Uh, copyrighted 2011 Retro Bit. I'm not making this up. All of them are in English. Whoever said Genesis was outdated, if you have an SNES or cons SNES console or another third party 16 bit console, you can now relieve your Genesis days with RetroBit. RetroGen adapter by RetroBit. Apparently, Sega Genesis was, is not outdated. Okay, that makes no sense. Did this, does that make sense to this? Two strikes so far. Okay. Take a look at this. Real closely. Did anybody catch that? It 
look at where my fingers at. And here's a cord for it. Nowhere else did it say that you need to plug this into the little hole. Three strikes already, and I've not even played this yet. That's a bad sign. Ooh, let's continue, shall we? Okay, I'm gonna play this off my retro duo, hence why I, this controller looks different. Let's play a Sega Classic Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, since you can lock in with the uh, second and third Sonic games, I'm gonna put in put Sonic 2 on top. Of Sonic and Knuckles. Okay, it's turned on. And all I'm seeing is a black screen. Strike number four. Okay. that doesn't work so I'm gonna plug in Sonic the Hedgehog Apparently it's still not working. Okay, I just did the Nintendo thing and still black screen. Let's try Earthworm Gym 2, shall we? Oh, it's working. Okay, it's turned on, but I can't press anything. 
strike number five. Okay, just plug in the Super Nintendo controller and it works. Anything but tangerines, huh? Okay, so the B button on this fourth one, Gem 2, is to whip it. Whip it good! And the A button is to jump. And the Y button is to shoot your gun. X button does nothing. Whoa. Okay, if you can excuse me for a minute, I gotta charge up my laptop. Okay, there we go, it's charging. Get out there. Okay. Shoot those green aliens. <gasps> okay, minus those five incidences, it's. So far, so good. Oh yeah, you need to jump two times. Press the A button two times in order to release snot from your backpack thing. Whoopee! Whoopee! Okay. Okay. So far, I've got two guns. Ah, oh, you little shit stain. Come here. <laughs> Gotta take a shit. What the hell is those bow things for? Anyways. If anybody can explain that to me how to. the uh, uh. what the heck am I supposed to do with those bubbles? Well, Arthur Jim gets the bubble gun. I don't get that as a kid or as an adult. And if you jump down, if you press Y, you use snot as a parachute. And the green headed alien got me even after I shot the big brick house thing. Oh, oh! Uh, I just got up those old ladies. If they hit you, if you catch one of them, they hurt, hit you with the purse and can say trash. Yeah, apparently, other gem is trash if you capture them. Or I catch them, rather. Oh, oh. Sound like the old granny's gonna have an orgasm. Oh, oh. There we go. Got the extra life for Jim. I think I'm just gonna play the first level of this. Yeah, I'm just gonna play the first level of this and then uh, get my view on it. Got the uh, blue gun things. That packs a wall up if you aim it at the uh, aliens. This is obliterate. And got the house launcher. Uh, if you uh, use it, it will go to the nearest enemy. And take care of them. And it's wasted one of them on an alien that wasn't even there. 
Sounds like a time to go to the bathroom. Now look, I'm gonna fight Bob the Fish. <laughs> and Jim just ate Bob the Fish. Well done. <laughs> and the talking cow just says, well done. Okay, that which is kind of ironic, if you ask me. Okay, I'm just gonna play the first level of this. Um. Okay, to recap. The first strike. It confused the day I tell me. It's basically saying that Sega Genesis is outdated, but the Super Nintendo is not. I don't get that. Are they still stuck in the early 90s or something when they released this? The second strike. Um, for different countries, you would think that uh, you have different language speaking, but as you can see in the back, I don't know if you can read that or not, but all of them are in English. Third strike. It doesn't. It comes with an AV adapter, which you're supposed to plug into the uh, cartridge and then plug it into your into your screen. Fails to mention that. The fourth strike. Uh. uh you can only. Put the top of it to RetroGen, but you cannot put two games on top of it, which they failed to mention in the back of the, the description. The fifth strike, even though it says that you can use a, another 16 bit uh, console, try using the uh, on the um, retro duo with this controller and did did the squat, so I had to use the uh, controller from the Super Nintendo. Uh, five strikes. The first three I've not even got a chance to play yet, so. That's the five problems I've found out by playing this. Um, other than that, it works really well. Um, actually, the uh, I guess the sixth strike is that you have to guess which one uh, to push on for the Super Nintendo controller. Uh, if you want to get this, that's up to you. You know, it works okay for me, though I suggest getting a uh, FC3 Plus, where you can play the uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Sega Genesis games on it. Again, that's totally up to you if you want to get the retro gen or not, so... Oh, that's the end of my review. Kind of disappointed though, but until then, this is Zombie Boy 88, and I'll see you guys Saturday for my Summer Slam card for the the, uh, the the card for the Summer Slam pay per view, which will be coming out this Sunday on the 19th. Until then, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys Saturday. Peace.